So top five tips to play in your first tournament. Okay. Um, or is that a bad one? It's not, it's not a bad one. Um, and I would apply it maybe even to kind of playing in the casino for the first time because it could be, uh, I do remember cause I played online a decent amount before I played in the casino and it, c- it can be daunting going in there. And so, okay, let's try. So tip number one is when in doubt, declare your bets out loud verbally. Um, a lot of people when they're new to playing live, they will put out their bets in a way that is not legal. And so let's say somebody raises to $2, they put out $2 and then they go back and put out four more and they say, you know, they're raising to six. You can't, once you put out the two, you're done with your turn. However, if before you do anything with your hands, you say raise to six, then that's binding. And even if you put out $300, which, which would be pretty hard to make that mistake, but you could, um, it's $6 that you raised to. So your first time, your first couple of times, I would verbally declare your bets, man, it's a tough list to, to make. Um, number two, give yourself time so that you're not stressed. You're going to be stressed enough going into a live environment or a live tournament environment for the first time. Just show up a little bit early expect that there's, you know, time at the registration line and to find your table and things like that, that, uh, can slow you down. And you'd rather be going in with a, with a clear head and and a calm head. Number three, I I would say kind of play the part of being more comfortable than you actually are. People, you know, people make mistakes at poker tables all the time, even if they've had a bit of experience. And if you just act like you're comfortable. I think people won't be able to identify as easily that it's your first time playing. And, you know, you don't want them to have that information at the table because that's something they could take advantage of. Number four, if you're ever unsure about what action is taking place or what your options are, you can always just ask the dealer. So, you know, there's a bet and a raise to you and you're not sure if you're not sure how much you have to put in or if you're, how much you're allowed to re-raise to or whatever the case may be, just just stop and look at the dealer and say, what can I do here? Or how much can I make it? Or whatever the case may be, just ask and they'll tell you. And that is kind of giving an indication that you're unsure about that spot, but it's worth it rather than you know thinking that you can't do something that you can. This reminds me of a uh, completely unrelated thing. So I was, uh, uh, <laughs> so when I was, uh, I think I must have been 11 or 12. This is this is back when there were uh, blockbusters. So at my local blockbuster, they 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 would do these um, video game competitions. And so you'd go, you'd play three games. This is on Sega Genesis. You'd play three games, and they would add up scores in each game, and you'd get on a, a board, and then. If you placed in like whatever, you would get a free game. If you if you won, you would move on and there's like regionals. And so I played and I won for my blockbuster, my local blockbuster. So I went to regionals and we play in regionals, it was huge. It was, I mean, there were so many people there. And I was eleven or twelve, and the first round I was playing NBA Jam against an 18-year-old. And the if I'm remembering correctly, the the best team like far and away, uh, or the Charlotte Hornets. And so we got there. It was our, it was our turn to play. We go up, there's like a ref and he he says to the 18 year old, you know, who do you pick? Who do you, who do you, who who do you want as your team? He said, Charlotte Hornets. And then I was like, okay. So I just picked the second best team, which I don't even remember. It turns out that if I also wanted the Charlotte Hornets, we would flip a coin, but I didn't know that. And I didn't ask you know, what are my options or, you know, does he get to pick first? Like, how did that happen? And so, um, I got, I got demolished. I mean, I probably would have lost to this guy anyways. Um, (laughs) but, uh, there's a, there's, there's an important lesson there, which is just, just ask.
And number five, I guess, I guess number five, I would say just try to remember to have fun playing your first live tournament can be stressful. There's a lot to worry about. There's a lot you might get wrong or, or worry about getting wrong, but the reason you're doing it is hopefully in large part, cause you'll enjoy it and, and the experience will be exciting and you're going to gain experience along the way, no matter what happens in the actual tournament. So I would say, you know, have high hopes and low expectations and have fun and just kind of tell yourself, you know, I'm going in here to learn and to play uh, and well, to learn and to have fun and whatever happens, you know, if it goes great, awesome. If it doesn't, let's, you know, I've built up my understanding of the situation. I've built up my comfort and, and next time uh, I'll, I'll be that much more comfortable. Ooh.